What is the one process we find in every living organism, from a bacteria cell to the mighty dinosaur? Pause for effect. If you answer cellular respiration, you are correct. This is one of my favorite processes of all time. Why? Because it is one process that unmistakably displays the hand of God. Imagine all the sun's energy beaming down on us. But no matter how long I go and stand in the sun, I may get darker, but my body cells are unable to use that energy. So he creates organisms that can take radiation and convert it into a chemical form of energy that we call food. We then eat that food, and then through this process of cellular respiration, we break that food down to release energy for our cells to use. This is a process that works hand in hand with photosynthesis to provide every living organism with energy. Science is all about discovering the details and seeing God's hand in those details. Hi, I am Mary Sam. I am a science teacher at Veritas Scholars Academy since 2011. I'm a young earth creationist science teacher. It is my joy and privilege to share the love of science from a biblical perspective with Veritas students. I teach general science, physical science, and biology. Now a little bit about myself. My husband and I, and I are blessed to have six wonderful children. We have homeschooled them, and I'm happy to say that three have survived. My oldest is an aerospace engineer. My second is a physical therapist assistant, and my third is going into computer engineering and robotics. Now, my youngest three are still at home. They're busy keeping me on my toes and definitely on my knees. All my children have taken courses at Veritas, and they're still taking them now. We really enjoy being Veritas parents along with being a Veritas science teacher. Now, some of my hobbies, I love reading. In fact, I think it's a sport. Give me a good book and tuck me in, and I'm good to go for the day. I also love different things like science fiction. Now I know there's no such thing as life on other planets and no such thing as time travel, yet I'm still a science fiction fan. I also love Irish music and I'm a tenor drummer with the local pipe and drum band. Now, as a science teacher, my goal is for students to understand the basic science facts, but that's not my main objective. My main objective is for them to see God in everything that we study. I want them to walk away confident that they can see God in the details of the world around them. My prayer is that students will walk away from science confident in the Word of God and confident in the fact that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you.